Hey, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create brushes. Are you ready? Click on the shape tool and select any shape, then duplicate it. Add field to this one. I'll delete the swatches folder because I want to use this color for the moment. After, adjust the circles to the grid size. To prevent the circle from exceeding the grid guide, align the stroke to inside. Okay? So go here and align. That's it. Now, let's create a new pattern by dragging and dropping this new circle to the swatches panel. Then, go to brush definition and create a new one. Make sure you select the option pattern brush. Within the pattern brush options, go here and select the swatch we just created. This other option is for choosing an outer corner tile. I want to be using it this time since I want to create curved lines, so I don't want any corner. Okay. So, anyway. I want to use it, but uh, you you should know it, it's for corners, okay? This other one is for the inner corners. This other is for side tiles. And this one is for creating starting tiles and the last one for adding, ending tiles. We'll start creating a basic brush. The spacing allows us to set the amount of a space between shapes. Unfortunately, we can't use a negative value. Later we'll see why it's a kind of pain in the neck. If we set it to 50%, the distance between circles is higher. Well, let's name the new pattern. Below, we can select the scale factor, whether we want to use fixed, by pressure or rotation, if we are working with a digital pad. We can also flip the pattern along the path or across the path. Okay, with this option, we can control how the pattern is applied to the path and the space between the shapes. Okay, hit OK. Great. Let's remove all these brushes as we did previously with the swatches. And I'm going to keep this too. Let's see how it works. Create a curved line. That's it. Now select the path and choose your pattern from the brush definition pattern panel sorry now i'm going to make it this smaller okay you see the pattern is repeated along the path so this way we can create many different patterns we can even combine shapes and create comp complex patterns. Here, half a circle and a square, right? Okay, a triangle. And as we did before, okay, okay, select the side tile. That's it. The starting and the ending tile. Okay. Set the spacing to 30 and hit OK. Let's see how, how it looks. Now insert a line and select the pattern. The line segment is visible because the fill is activated. Okay. 
is this line, okay? So disable it and the line disappears. Great. Cool, let's keep working. So we can draw different shapes. Well, I see that the stroke width is modified automatically. So I'm going to act de deactivate the scale strokes and effects option. Great. So duplicate this path, just select it and drag without dropping. While dragging, press Alt and you'll get a duplicated path. We can press O to rotate it along its axis or press O and Shift to rotate it 45 degrees at a time. Now select the two paths and join them by pressing Command J. Great. What I'm going to do now is, well, uh, sorry, before that, make sure it has a bat cap. Nor round, nor projecting. Okay. Now we can drag it to the swatches panel, create a new brush, that's it, pattern brush, okay, and within here, select side tile and the new shape. It won't have a space in this time. Draw a line and apply the Just Create pattern to it. And this is the new brush. Uh, guys, in order to create different textures, as I mentioned previously, I'm going to create different pattern brushes with simple patterns, but this will contribute to create a complex result. For example, for example, in the beard, the dress, or whatever. A disadvantage when creating new brushes is well, well, uh, let me show you it with this curve. Okay. Well, it cannot be appreciated here. What about the other pattern? Okay. Great, so look closely to the circles. They are deformed, right? Why? Well, because they've been automatically adjusted to the curved path. Therefore, in the next lesson, we'll be talking about the blend tool to use it in those occasions when the brushes are in the best option. So, see you there!